Well, thank you very much, Jean-Pierre, for this very nice uh, introduction. I was going to say that if you want to have a dialogue, there's got to be two of you. And for the moment, I feel that the dialogue may not be as uh, good as it used to be. But uh, I guess the presence of Olivier Véran this afternoon is a sign that things are picking up. I'm very happy to be with, here with you, and I would like to thank uh, warmly the organizers of this third uh, Sommet de la VAP for asking me to take part in your work, uh, for uh, whether it be for associations, for risk reduction. It's been a great pleasure to work with you on risk reduction. This is a topic that uh, political decision makers uh, don't know much about yet. For the past two years, there's been no Sommet de la VAP, which enables me to be here today, as we had said last time. Tobacco remains, uh, as was said, uh, the first uh, top cause of avoidable deaths in our country, 75,000 deaths uh, per year. And uh, uh, in the world, over 8 million people die every year. And uh, once again, the reports uh, uh, are quite uh, similar, as uh, WHO tells us. What is unfortunate is that for the billion people smoking in the world, and uh, as you can imagine, it represents quite a lot for uh, the tobacco manufacturers, 740 billion cigarettes manufactured every year. Uh, quite a lot of them live in uh, low to uh, um, medium income countries. And uh, so the problem is a global one. And maybe one day the stakeholders of uh, vaping in France will contribute to, to reduction at international world. I have a mission from uh, the Research uh, Institute to work uh, uh, in uh, uh, WHO on that topic and make Maybe one day we can get WHO to evolve on that topic. Every day we can see that the sad assertion of Robert Proctor in his uh, book, Golden Holocaust, according to which uh, the uh, cigarette is the most deadly invention in the history of mankind, every day we can see that this is true. The BVA survey that you just saw shows uh, that uh, the disaster, the results in the future will be disastrous. 80% of the people who are questioned feel that nicotine is carcinogenic. And this is really a step back. And the Sommet de la VAP must show uh, that uh, it is not the nicotine that is responsible for that. Uh, three uh, French people out of five uh, feel that vaping is at least as dangerous as smoking. How did we reach this resistance to vaping? when, uh, in fact, uh, vaping is considered uh, by the public health agency as the most used uh, means uh, for uh, smokers to stop smoking. So I... Sorry, this was supposed to be animated. So I suggest we look at five points of analysis to explain the resistance of decision makers. First of all, the legislative, uh, fr the legal framework. It is not supportive, but at least we have managed to implement a real fight against tobacco in this country. The European directive was transferred to the law in France in 2016. Uh, enabling us to make a huge step ahead with neutral packaging, developing the possibility of prescribing uh, NRTs um, by many health professionals, and also imposing the legal obligation of transparency of uh, the actors, uh, the stakeholders in public uh, health vis-à-vis -vis tobacco manufacturers. And in 2017, we had uh, the implementation of uh, a pricing policy and uh, the opening of a fund for um, tobacco control within CNAM in order to fund research. The, uh, 
decisive policy of 2016 that went together with social marketing and went together with the uh, action months without smoking has enabled to reduce the number of uh, daily smokers uh, by uh, 1 million between uh, 2016 and 2017, plus 800,000 uh, between 2017 and 2018. Uh, a reduction in prevalence by four points uh, means uh, that uh, there's a, a drop to 25.4%, uh, which shows that the initial objective of the PNRT of 2014 is almost reached as the idea was to reach less than 20% by 2024. This is feasible, but vaping must take a huge place if we want uh, to reach that objective. I was talking about the legal framework. The Code of Public Health talks about uh, tobacco control. There is a chapter talking about vaping products, which is a different chapter from the tobacco product uh, chapters. And uh, there is a distinction, and we worked on that together, and for example, on the public uh, places for consumption. But there's still a lot to do, and there's a chapter like that of uh, uh, advertising in order to increase uh, the use of vaping and change uh, the perception of the general public. The implementation of the uh, legal framework has uh, uh, led to a, a positive environment for public policies in favor of vaping. The use of tobacco uh, has uh, been reduced between uh, 90, uh, in 2016 and 2017, and I would like to thank uh, the head of customs. And the sales of tobacco have been reduced by 10 percent between uh, 2016 and 2018. The uh, sale of uh, tobacco of uh, NRTs has increased by 28 percent, and uh, vaping increased by 21 percent in 2018 according to a recent survey. Let's hope that this is not followed by a stagnation as has been announced. Vaping enables, as we heard in the introduction, to reduce the number of smokers by 100,000 a year on average. This is an estimate of the Public Health Agency, uh, and we are happy to have their information every year since uh, 2014. It is possible to assess a reduction of the um, public health uh, expenses, public health cost, uh, thanks to vaping. If we start from a, a cautious basis of about 13 billion a year in 2017 and 13 uh, million uh, daily smokers, uh, we see that uh, the cost has been considerably reduced, even though health is not just an issue of cost. But uh, this uh, language can be used if we want to be heard by the uh, public health authorities. The reality of these savings must be measured, but it should be assessed uh, quite quickly, especially in terms of cardiovascular risks. Uh, according to recent studies, including one uh, published by German Duncan et al., has shown a reduction by about 40 percent five years after the start of the um, tobacco reduction or weaning process. So it's absolutely necessary that we should have uh, the right tools to drastically reduce uh, smoking. Uh, the PNRT has uh, been used as a favorable uh, 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 replacement, but as uh, always, the success of vaping as compared to NRT is uh, mainly used to the famous uh, 
pleasure or a vaping hit where um, when NRT are rather linked to disease or treatment. And this is a major difference. And we have uh, clear data showing the superiority of uh, vaping over NRT to help the weaning process. According to a recent study, out of over 880 smokers, uh, average age of 40, uh, between uh, 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 about 400 use uh, NRTs and 400 using vape. Uh, uh, the rate of uh, tobacco reduction has uh, is double in uh, the vapors than in those who use NRT. Obviously, some people criticized this publication and showed and said that 79% uh, 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 continued using a vape and therefore continued uh, taking uh, nicotine as compared to those using NRT. But OK, but they stopped smoking. OK, after one year after they stopped smoking, they continue vaping. But is that a problem? No, not really. Second point, the decision makers are still concerned about a non-known toxicity of vaping. So we hear, OK, we only have 10 years follow-up since uh, vape uh, started. So we do not really have the measurement of uh, health uh, consequences. OK, precautionary principle, but it's been 10 years. And uh, some uh, health uh, events are very worrisome and uh, very co much coverage by the media uh, have been mentioned. So we've heard about the famous uh, lung uh, disease uh, that uh, people using vape uh, had. OK, let's remember that in, you, in the US you have 1,500 deaths a day due to tobacco. September 9, i.e. only two weeks after the declaration of uh, CDC, uh, the uh, FDA said that uh, these oil uh, contained um, CHC acetocannabinol, and this was the reason uh, why they uh, had uh, these disease, and uh, they had to use uh, uh, corticoids. Uh, Okay. The general director of ANSES has indicated that vitamin E and uh, uh, THC-based products are not allowed in France. Uh, let me remind you that the uh, compulsory declaration imposes to all manufacturers to uh, present and register the list of their products. There are 1,200 products, and uh, all of these had to be sampled, and we've been working a lot at the time on this issue of the declaration and registration to make things easy and not overly costly. This is an important point for the safety of consumers. Experimental works have been uh, carried out uh, regularly. Um, they were carried out on rodents uh, to show the tissue lesions due to cigarettes. And uh, this helps uh, visualizing uh, the harm uh, uh, of uh, um, Cigarettes and e-cigarettes. Uh, a recent uh, publication shows that vaping induces carcinogenic lesion in uh, mice. Okay, but they say it doesn't do anything to rats. Even though these rats were really put under the same uh, experience, uh, experiment or test conditions, what does it mean? It means uh, that uh, you have to uh, check uh, vaping products as you would uh, uh, milk uh, powder for uh, newborns. Uh, remember the lactalis issue. And uh, it's also important to support cohort studies in human be on human beings, and it's up to you to support these research. 
And uh, number three, let's, uh, let me remind you that uh, the liquids do not contain the more than 4,000 products or substances contained in smoked uh, in combustible tobacco, some of which uh, might uh, be uh, uh, leading to cancer. In fact, uh, uh, all uh, the WHO considers that all forms of tobacco products uh, can be harmful, uh, including warm tobacco. Third point, the decision makers consider that the use of uh, vapor uh, it is, uh, continues after uh, um, uh, tobacco after weaning. A lot of the users are dual users. According to the results of the last uh, public health barometer, we can thank them, the dual users represent uh, where less than 1% of the dual users had never smoked. 25% of them uh, reduced their consumption uh, thanks to vaping. Amongst the dual users, 23% uh, tried to stop for at least seven days uh, versus 11% of the smokers. So we see the results even though we're talking about dual users, but there's still an advantage in the fact that they can start, uh, they can start vaping. Let's not condemn these people ahead of time. Uh, let's use vaping to help them get rid of uh, smoking. Uh, something that's very interesting, as you know, even a small, even people who smoke very little, like five cigarettes a day, this is uh, linked to harm, um, harmful effects on health. But the relative risk of developing lung cancer is reduced by a factor of not two, not five, not ten, but 15, by a factor of 15. If if you reduce your smoking from one pack a day to five or less cigarettes a day. So the dose effect is there and it has an impact. And this is true for cancer, lung cancer, and all other cancers. Not so much for uh, cardiovascular risks. But we can't say that it's all or nothing. There is a progressive impact when you stop smoking. Fourth point, young people seem to have a new addiction, that of vaping. Once again, a media alert coming from the US. They realized that, that the use of e-cigarettes has doubled amongst the uh, American uh, teenagers between 2017 and 2019. It uh, is due mainly to uh, a specific uh, e-cigarette called the Joule. Uh, from Jewel Lamps, and uh, this new style uh, of vape has become the number one e-cigarette in that country. What about France? When this e-cigarette has been available in our country since this last December, we realized that Jewel Lamps, a startup created in 2015, has uh, merged uh, with Altria, whose owner is Marlboro. So there's a consortium of interest between uh, vaping and uh, tobacco industry. Even though we're uh, told by the public health agency that we shouldn't be uh, influenced by commercial interests. So you have to be careful and vigilant and you must be aware of that. So, France, okay, there's been an increase in the use of uh, vaping products in uh, 11 to 18 years old. It seems that trying has gone from one third to one half of uh, the uh, people who were surveyed. So now we uh, have about 10% versus 4% in 2015. The survey called PETAL 
confirms that half the 17 years old have tried vaping and 50% have uh, tried uh, cigarettes. Half of them are daily smokers and are vaping in order to stop smoking. 7% never smoked and 2% only say they regularly vape. According to a study uh, done in Georgetown, it doesn't seem that there's any increase in smoking due to vaping, even though uh, the smoking has been reduced in that age group uh, since 2004 and uh, was an increased base since 2011. According to Leonie Bruce from King's College, vaping is only used in 5% of the 16, 17, and uh, mainly by uh, usual smokers. For Professor Duesenberg, who is with us as well, the study carried out uh, with uh, French uh, high school uh, teenagers, the proportion of dual users has gone from 26% to 16%. So nothing confirms today that uh, the products of vaping can be used uh, by young people to go over to smoking or can facilitate uh, smoking uh, in the society as are the concerns of WHO and should be our concerns as well. Now, there's not enough publications. OK, this can be discussed uh, uh, because we've talked about quite a lot of publications this morning already. OK, do we lack data? Yes, absolutely. We lack data on many topics. The funding of research on vaping is a considerate, considerable challenge because uh, you have issues such as improving the health of uh, former smokers that are vaping. One has to measure the impact. I talked about the reduction on cardiovascular risk, the impact of long-term vaping concerning uh, so society, new living behavior, uh, and the way in which these uh, devices have entered our society. The law of 2016 and the fund creating in 2016 had 100 million in uh, 2016, uh, 20, uh, and the same in 2019, but only 15 million euros a year for research out of the 100 or 120 million. Maybe we should earmark more than 15 million. So the answer is that there's no research team, so we must support the creation of such research teams. Eight cigarette projects were funded uh, between 2016 and 2018. Three have been submitted for 2019. PETAL, as I said earlier, electroshare trajectory for E6 for young people and adults. The SIC study, SIC Electra. IMI, Marketing and Cigarettes, and Respire uh, with an animal part. One will note, and I'm saying this on purpose, that there are no studies looking into the health impact of uh, uh, smoking cessation uh, thanks to vaping. And this is, after all, a most important issue. So we lack information. We have to be aware that our health professionals are not sufficiently informed. One can only but be happy about uh, the implementation of a new health service. Almost 40,000 students every year can have a new look on uh, smoking prevention and health prevention. And they're no longer just health professionals like William and I. Uh, but these uh, students can also look uh, at uh, uh, early uh, prevention and early spotting. And they have to be trained in risk prevention. What about health democracy? 
because this is very important. The training of these future professionals or trainers could also be done uh, together with the associations. Uh, we can ask you to take part in the training of these future health professionals. That's what health democracy is all about. In this area, we can hope uh, that uh, the training on uh, tobacco control can be uh, carried out, uh, give, explaining to the health professionals all the possibilities, including vape. Uh, please look at what the health departments are doing today. Try to get closer to those who are being trained by the health departments. To conclude, uh, oh, let me, uh, by, by way of an aside, before I conclude, in this room, some associations have shown that they're able to work in the public health uh, environment. Uh, uh, I was uh, mentioning FIVAP and uh, EDUS, but uh, they, are suggested, uh, they have suggested a creation of a, a, a group to set up a standard for vaping in the French standardization organization, which is called LAFNA. We also have uh, Vapticur, which uh, distributes uh, vaping uh, equipment uh, to, um, uh, to impoverished populations, uh, helping them to stop uh, smoking. And in this way, they've been recognized at an, as a not-for-profit organization. So, so much to tell you about the importance of associations. Today, we have the paradox of a precaution cautionary principle, which is opposed to a method for risk reduction. If we do see an integration of e-cigarettes in the programs of tobacco control, do the public authorities recognize that? The precautionary principle is uh, double-edged. On the one side, uh, the public authorities don't want to be accused to be to promote uh, uh, practice that might be harmful for health if one day uh, the harm is highlighted. And on the other hand, they could be accused of not supporting vaping as a substitute for smoking. In other words, uh, vaping is supported supported by the public authorities in an indirect manner uh, via a dialogue, especially with the public health agencies, but with no real official declaration. Even though the associations and people in favor of vaping have been uh, asked to play a role in the Months Without Smoking uh, event, they have been integrated into the committee of uh, uh, the national program of tobacco co for tobacco control. But let us remember that these same associations are in favor of the British uh, uh, frame, uh, framework for uh, vaping. Uh, the UK and New Zealand, for example, are in favor of vaping, stop smoking services plus e-cigarettes. In fact, e-cigarettes is a word they would like to get rid of, but they don't know what else to use. Uh, so the National Health Service for the UK has indicated that vaping should be uh, supported by health professionals. So we can think that we're still far from that. And also the, uh, the, uh, the British e-cigarette is not, uh, uh, can be qualified as a product for um, Sm smoking cessation, which is uh, something that is not allowed in France. Vaping is, is today an efficient risk reduction tool that can be used by people who want to uh, avoid uh, harmful practices for their health. You're, when you're a former smoker, you're, milit you're activists, and you do not want to be associated with smokers because you knew, know that smoking was bad for you. The, the usefulness could be comforted by a public decision. Let's hope that the uh, Summit de la VAP of this year can enable us to make this step ahead. Thank you very much uh, for your attention.